Hi, I'm just going to do a tutorial on ring slings. This is specifically trying to get at all those people that say they hate ring slings. I myself was a ring sling hater vehemently for two years, two and a half years, maybe more than that. No, two and a half years. Um, it was one of my first carriers I ever bought. It was the only one I ever bought for myself when my son was born. And I thought it was the silliest thing anyone created because somehow it never really worked. And then one day I started to love them. So I'm just going to show you the tricks that I found helped me with a ring sling. And most of the time you have your ring sling pre-threaded. There are many videos on how to thread a ring sling. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to show you the tips I find to make a ring sling once it's threaded easier to use when you're just picking it up and going. Because that's the point of ring slings, is to have a quick, easy carrier that you can pick out of your car, put it on, and go into the grocery store. So, this is my tip for when you are put, picking it up. So I grab it out of the car, I find the two hems with my fingers, I pull them out, not too far, and then I find the two hems on either side, and I pull those tight. That in itself gives an easily, evenly threaded ring sling, and that's how I start. Another thing that can trip people up with ring slings when they're just quickly trying is they get the pocket twisted really easily. It happens to me all the time in the middle of the night when Ellie just won't sleep. So this is what I've found works. I hold the base of the ring sling like this in my hand. I put my elbow through it and I put it over. I get it on the right shoulder, not twisting up this. Then what I do is I reach my hand through, find the bottom of the pocket, and just pull. Try that again. Then, I think as mo a lot of videos say, is they start the rings on top of their shoulders. So when they, you've tightened it, it comes down to a more corsage position, which you're looking for with a ring sling. Another thing you're looking for is having an evenly spread pocket, I mean, pass on your back. That way you won't have any weird pressure points that having a one shoulder carry makes it hard. Another thing to think about is that you don't want too much wrap in the pocket. You want to start with just a little bit. So I just pull some of that out. This can all be done prior to you get in the car like this. Or you can just do it really quickly and put your baby in. It won't really affect speed. I'm just going through it kind of slowly. So another thing that has helped me with a ring sling is thinking about it and it actually came from a comment on the baby wearer in a Rebozo um, carry of the week. Um, was thinking about hip carries in general. Instead of thinking them as one shoulder carries, thinking them as torso carries. So thinking that you are trying to get your baby so sandwiched sandwiched to your body that they aren't going to be leaning in other ways. And a lot of that comes to where you're putting your baby on your body. So you could put your baby right in front of you if they're a newborn, which is ideal. That's what you want to do with a newborn. But once your baby gets up and they're like sitting up independently and they want a bit more space, the tendency is to put your baby directly on your hip, like where you would carry like a basketball if you're a Kelly Kapowski or a volleyball if she was into volleyball. So what I learned on this baby wear carry of the week was to think of a hip carry instead of directly on your hip, slightly off to the side from center. That way, Ellie, that way you won't have the center of gravity off. Because if your baby's all the way on your hip, you're pulling against that baby that whole time. So, now it's baby time. My baby's working up all the center paper. So Ellie is 13 months, and the way I get her into my ring sling is I put my hand through, I grab her feet, and I, she picks my nose, and I put her in. So there's a few different schools of thought. Both work really well. One is to put them into like just this hammock type thing where you don't make a seat, and you pull all the extra over. The key is pulling the extra over at this point. I don't do this. I find it's a little bit 
cumbersome for me. So what I do is I pull the fabric up. The most important part of whichever method you choose is to pull the fabric over at this point. So I pull the fabric over onto her back, so creating all the slack on this side. Then I do the same thing with the, the bottom to make the seat. So I'm pulling all the extra over and then tucking my seat up. So I tuck my seat quite deep in a ring sling just because I find it's easier to get a nice carry. See, so see, if I put her on my side, I'm like leaning, leaning. So I want her a little bit like this. So now all of my extra slack, even if there's some on this side, right now I could like feed it through to this side. Then the key I found to tightening a ring sling properly was to not try and pull down against my baby's weight. You're gonna lift your baby up so that their rings don't lock from her weight. I'm going to pull the fabric instead of down towards her. I'm gonna pull it up to my shoulders to let, release the rings and then slide it over. And the same thing on this side. Up, down, and then I'm gonna work through. All right, and that's it. So, depending on what you like, ball strap. You can cap your shoulder, have it folded, but things that I found the most important for making comfort is to have it not too close to my neck making sure the back is spread evenly across my back and coming down as low as possible. That's where the torso mentality comes in, is that if you can get most of like the su supporting weight coming from this part of your back instead of just in one area on your shoulder, that's when you're gonna be comfortable for long periods. I can wear Ellie for a long time. I can wear Miles, my three and a half year old, for probably about 20 minutes, which I think is a long time in a ring sling, maybe even a little bit more than that. Depends on what I'm doing. Um, but I can wear him in a ring sling too for a significant amount of time, I think, for a three year old. And that's it. So I hopefully, hopefully, ugh, hopefully that's helpful in some way. Say bye bye. No, she's not going to.